How to protect Google Sheets, ranges and cells and formulas. Hi guys, I'm Kevil Kishan, India's leading business automation coach and welcome to another tutorial on business automation. When it comes to automating your business, we use Google Forms, Google Sheets, WhatsApp automation and today let's learn on how do you lock, how do you protect Google Sheet ranges, cells, formulas. So let's get started. So we can see right now we have a simple Google Sheet here, okay, where we have some drop downs, we have some, you know, cells where we can add some data, we have another drop down, date, time. Now I want to share this with some teammate. So it is shared on my one of the email address. I want to share it on another email address. So here I have given the rights. So when I share with somebody, I've got three options to give the rights. I can make them viewer. I can make them commenter and I can make them editor. Difference is when you make them viewer, they will be able to only view the data. They cannot edit anything. When you make them commenter, they can only comment on the cells, but they cannot make any changes. But here, we are going to consider that you are going to give the editor right to somebody. Okay. Now, before we go on and understand how do you lock the cells, make sure that whenever you're giving the editing right, you need to click on this, you know, setting button and you need to disable both the options because these disabling these options make sure that the editor cannot share it further and the viewer cannot download it so let's go ahead and share the same and let me open it from another email address now this is another teammate who has received the editing access on this particular sheet and you can see i'm also there while another teammate has opened it so this is this is where I've logged in from a different email address and it is showing that Kevil Kishan has opened this Google Sheet you know, from his email address. And that is this particular workbook, right? So I want that here, for example, other teammate can make any changes, right? I want that the teammate should not be able to make that. For that, what do you need to do? I need to lock these cells. And how do we do that? So firstly, you need to go to data tab. So in data tab, we have this option called protect sheets and ranges. Now understand when it comes to data tab, this tab gives you all the options which are in relation with managing the data, deleting the data, filtering the data, right? Adding the validations on the data. And here we are going to talk about firstly locking the data. So we click on this and at the right side, it gives us the option through which we can add, we can lock a sheet or we can lock a range within the sheet. Right now you can see there is no logic added here because the sheet is open. The, you know, if you've shared this with somebody, that person can make changes in this. So how do we lock it? So what we do, we click on option called add sheet or range. So here it is giving us two options. One is, do we want to lock the entire sheet or do we want to lock only the range? Let's firstly go for the sheet. We want to lock the entire sheet whose name is assignment. You can see there are two sheets, assignment and subjects. For example, we want to lock this. So we can lock this entire assignment sheet. I can just name it. Now here it says that do you want to allow the person to make changes in just few cells or few columns and all other columns will be locked. So if we click on this, it tells us that we can add some ranges here where the editor can make some changes. But if we do not give this option and if we directly lock what will happen that editor will not be able to make any changes in any of the cells. But that somehow, you know, uh, that contradicts the editing uh, editor rights. When you've given the editor rights to somebody, you want them to make any changes on some columns which you want them to do that, right? So for example, here I want that I've shared this with another teammate and that person should be able to make changes in the D column, which is the status. So what I can do, I can say, okay, log the entire assignment sheet except column so what I could do I can make it 
d1 colon d100 but if I make it d colon d it will end up locking the entire d column unlocking the entire d column so it says that entire sheet will be locked for other teammate except d column okay here you have an option of uh, adding another range for so example I can say okay let us give the person option of editing the time as well okay so let me just go ahead and click on set permissions so when you click on set permission it is giving us some great options where it says okay who can edit the google sheet okay so cable kitchen can edit the google sheet and another teammate which we've shared the google sheet with can also edit so here we are disabling that we do not want this person to edit it right now here it has got two options either you can restrict person to edit the sheet or you can show them a warning we don't want the warning option because people end up ignoring that and they end up making changes we want to restrict them so we are disabling uh, this email address and the person cannot make any changes on this google sheet except d column and e column so click on done and we have saved it so now it says that assignment sheet is logged and here it is logged except two ranges which is column d and column e let us check it real time so this is where i have opened the google sheet from my another email address where we had shared it and let me just close the other one here we have given the editing right on d column and e column let's try it out so i can make changes right so it is working perfectly i can make changes here as well however i cannot make here when i double click to make changes it showed me you're trying to protect or uh, you're trying to edit a protected range uh, please contact the spreadsheet owner to remove protection if you need to edit so for example if my teammate wants to edit it and does not have the option to edit then what he or she can do is he or she can right click and make a comment please allow me to edit this range because of certain reasons so that teammate can make a comment and the owner gets to know okay this teammate needs editing permission on this column because of this this reason and then if the owner wants okay we need to allow the person for you know giving option of editing one more column then it can be allowed cool so you can see here that nothing can be changed here uh, it is not allowing this person to make any changes except this column right except this all right so now i hope you are clear with the first section where we learn on how do you lock entire sheet except few columns now i have opened the google sheet from the owner's email address okay now let's try another scenario okay so let me just go to data here let me go to protect sheets and ranges let me click on this this is the setting where we had logged the entire sheet and we have you know uh, given the option of editing two columns d and e to the person now here we have got three columns here column a column b column c on a different sheet which is called subjects so we have two sheets here assignment and subjects right let me open it from the owner email address now what we are going to do here i hope you're clear with this uh, we are going to try another feature on a different sheet where instead of locking this entire sheet which is called subjects we are going to lock only few cells or few columns and another range will be open except few columns everything will be open so it is reverse to what we did right in the previous uh, scenario we locked the entire assignment sheet which was this one except two columns and that was d and e now in the subject we are going to let me just add a couple of more columns here Here we are going to lock only one or two column and everything will be open except that. How do we do it? 
So we go to again data tab, again protect sheets and ranges. Now you see it has the option of protect sheets and ranges. So firstly we tried on protecting a sheet with some exception of few ranges and now we're going to try protecting a range in a sheet. So let me click on this. Now it had two options, range and sheet. We tried sheet. Now let us try a range. So in the range it is asking us which particular sheet we want to lock. So here we can see that it has called subjects then this exclamatory mark and then B40. Do you know what is this exclamatory mark and what does it signify? It signifies that anything which is coming before this exclamatory mark is actually the name of a sheet. Okay. So it shows that we have a sheet called subjects. Okay. So example, if you want to lock the assignment sheet, so we need to write assignments here and it will pick up the range from this particular sheet called assignments. Okay. But we want to lock subjects sheet. So we click here and by default it picks up subjects. But which cell we want to lock? Is it only this B14, which is this one? No. What we want, we want to lock this column called B. We want to lock B column and we want the person to have the option of and the freedom of editing column C, column D, column A. So how do we do it? So we edit like subject, exclamatory remark. We can write here B1 colon B1000. So from B1, which is this, till B1000, we are going to lock it. But here you can see we are having only 20 cells or 20 call rows. So we have an option of adding 1000 more rows. We can click here. And now we have 1020 rows. So you want to lock this entire column from B1 to B1020. So we can choose here from B1 to B1020. But here the catch is that in the future when you add more rows, right? In that case, for example, if you add B1021, another row, right? That is not covered under this. So it is always recommended that if you're locking an entire column, then instead of taking just a range, take the entire column itself. So here we have taken B column B. And B column B means this entire column. Doesn't matter whether you add more rows or delete, the B column will be locked. So now we are locking this, clicking on set permission. And here you can see here, uh, this particular sheet is editable by the owner and by editor. So if we disable it, then that editor, which is this email address, will not be able to edit that particular column, which is B column, except every other column. So we click on this, saving. Cool. So now let's try it out. I have opened this Google sheet from another email address, which is editor email address. So here, it is taking data here, but here it is not allowing us, not allowing us at all. Cool. Now let me just quickly summarize it. And guys, before we summarize, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe it. Make sure to share it with your friends, your teammates, your you know other friends as well. Every week we are bringing some amazing tutorials. So make sure you uh, add a comment as well on what was your takeaway from this particular lesson. If you want me to make another lessons, another tutorial on a different topic when it comes to business automation, feel free to drop a comment. Cool. So here we might have seen that when we open this from editor email address, this particular column, right, has a formula as well. You can see here. It has a formula, right? But because we have not allowed this editor to make changes, he can only see the formula, but he cannot delete the same, right? So I hope you're clear with this, right? And by default, by mistake, you have you know logged it. How do you delete it? You simply go to the uh, data, you go to the protect sheet ranges. Here, it gives you option of seeing all the protected ranges. So here you can see we have logged B column in subject sheet and we have logged entire assignment sheet except two ranges. If you want to delete them, you can click on this and you can delete it. But it is not allowing us to delete from the editor email address. We need to go to the owner email address, go to data and this is where we can delete the same. 
to yes you can see here two subjects and assignment sheet we can click here and we can click on delete we can click another one we can click on delete here so now you have removed any kind of uh, protection in this and the uh, i hope you like this video let me just quickly wrap it up now and you to catch up on the meeting i hope you liked it keep learning keep automating and keep scaling your business and you know keep subscribing and keep liking the videos while every week we are bringing some amazing tutorials take care bye bye